Well, I'm off to work. I've got my trusty lunchbox here. Wait, this isn't a lunchbox. This is actually an original case from 1894. Yes, folks, 1894. This is one of my favorite finds I've ever had. Stay tuned for this video and you're gonna check out if this cornet actually does play. Stay tuned. Everybody, it's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. I hope you're having a fantastic day out there today. This is what was inside that lunchbox. And let me tell you, this con cornet is just fantastic. I'll put some pictures up and you'll see just how nice the scroll work is of this horn. This probably was originally gold here on the inside of the engraving, but it has since faded because the inside of the bell has that gold wash that Khan's famous for. This is the New York Wonder Cornet. And it's a pretty wondrous horn because I'm going to show you a few things right off the bat. First of all, it's got a pitch finder. This one, mind you, this, this has been sitting in a case for years, so the pitch finder is a little slow. Um, I had another cornet that actually one of my old employees purchased from me, um, <clears throat> and the pitch finder works great. It actually works pretty uh, well on the other slide. We'll get to that in just a second. It has a long bit here, and it also has the short bit. The rare thing you'll find when you go through collections and you go through instruments is that sometimes you'll find the instrument but not the case. Sometimes you'll find the instrument but not the mouthpiece. Two mouthpieces. Sometimes you'll find the instrument without the original mute. Khan always provided an original mute for the instruments back then. Sometimes you'll find it without the tuning bits. This case even has the original springs still in the wrapping that they included an extra set of springs. It's pretty fantastic, actually. Um, the horn is not in great shape. Uh, it's got numerous, it's got numerous dents. You can see right by my finger there, there's a dent there. It's got a lot of wear and tear on the back bellbow. This horn was played. There's a dent here. Uh, there you go. Um, obviously, this has been probably soldered on and off. Even the water key, which is a dual water key. How cool is that? What well, it was gold plated at one time. It's got a little gold trim on the top as well as you can see. But the horn plays. Um, it's, it's actually kind of awesome. Let me give you a little demonstration of the horn in with the long bit. I'm using my B cup mouthpiece, which is a fairly deep mouthpiece. So super sweet sound. I don't know if you can hear that. The C, the first C didn't come out so well because I think the valve didn't come up because these valves also look pretty gross. You can see there's a lot of wear and on these pistons. Mind you, this is a 125 year old instrument. That's crazy. fun. Now if you want to do a quick change to B, this would have been handy in my brass quintet when I used to have to play some weird things. It's really high pitch, but you could almost get away with it. I used to have to play that in F sharp. It's an F in there, so it's kind of cheating, right? But the coolest part about this horn, cool, oh, check that out. That was the original bottle of valve oil they supplied with the instrument. 
or it could have been someone's personal personal elixir i don't know but i'm assuming it was the uh, original valve so you'll see this slide right this slide comes out take it out then i never seen one of these before and i looked in the case and there it was what do you think this might be you put the slide in hold on so now I've got the bottom slide in right here, and it does have a lock, so you can lock it in so it doesn't move on you. Bottom slide. Then you put the lead pipe bit in the bottom crook. And now you have a C, C cornet. So if I wanted to play something like, um, It's obviously not a C trumpet, of course, but how cool and ingenious is that design where you just pull it up, put another one in, you got a key of C. They originally made this so you could, so hobbyist cornetists could play with organists and, and have an instant change, and it would be presto changeo. But very, very cool. Let me show you the mouthpieces. Uh, first, we'll show you this, which I'm not sure this is original. This is a Pepper, JW Pepper, but it's got that classic super flat rim. Super flat rim. So this will give you that. period sound but the cool the cool cool mouthpiece is that one I'm not sure you can see it I'll pull it back a little bit to get it closer to the light that is a rubber rim mouthpiece so if you look see how I'm turning the mouthpiece I'll get a little bit closer to the light here here there you go see how half of it is silver and half of it is rubber it's super cool I'm not gonna play this because I don't know um, where that's been <laughs> But you never know what you find at Austin Custom Brass, and this is one of those things that I absolutely love and adore. If you have a horn that you need to have rescued, email us. We'd love to check it out. If you want to per uh, sell it, we might purchase it. You never know. Uh, this one was a whim, and uh, I'm really excited about potentially restoring this horn. If you have a second, hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date with us. Thank you so much for your great support of the shop. We couldn't do it without you. And until then, happy tootin'.